Reading Pioneers is proud to present I Choose to Calm My Anger, written by Elizabeth Estrada. I was angry at my mom and dad. My parents said no, which made me mad. I asked to play games with Aiden, my best friend. But chores after school were the rules and wouldn't bend. I begged, but no reason I could find could change my parents' mind. I walked to school, a frown on my face. I kicked a can and sent it to space. I opened the door and some friends said hello. I just ignored them and kept walking real slow. I threw my backpack onto my desk. It looked like this day would be quite a test. I went to my class, sat in the back of the room. I just couldn't concentrate. I was so full of gloom. A new boy sat near me and said, Hi, I'm Ray. I snapped at him and said, Not today. At recess, my friend Liam asked me, What's wrong? Life's not always easy but we have to be strong. I can't help it. I can feel the anger boiling inside me. It's okay to feel upset. Keeping it inside can be deadly. Accepting anger is important if we want to control it. Just take three deep breaths and you won't want to hit. Then count up to 10 and you'll show anger the door. Think of a happy place, and you'll be calm once more. So I thanked my friend for his help. I decided to be stronger than anger itself. I breathed in and out deeply, then counted to ten, and thought of a happy place to find my zen. This helped me feel calmer, and my anger had eased. I walked to the playground, where I sometimes got teased. This was part of the problem that made me get cross. I was bullied by a kid whose nickname was Boss. The big kid approached me and called me a rude name. I could have barked back, but anger I chose to tame. Because I said nothing, the bully ignored. Boss shrugged and moved on, because he was bored. I felt surprised that this approach worked. I had defeated my anger, and my spirits perked. Then, when I found out, I didn't get picked for the team. My hands sweat, and my anger grew steam. But then I remembered to breathe in and out. After I counted to ten, I no longer wanted to shout. I knew what to do when I couldn't get my way. I can keep my cool, come what may. I never knew I could control my anger. Thanks to my friend for helping me become stronger. I learned it's okay to be angry and upset too, but it's up to me on how I respond and what I do. Thank you, Pioneers, for reading with us today to the book, I Choose to Call My Anger by Elizabeth Estrada. I love reading books that teach children new ways to manage their emotions and turn their days around. From this book, we learn it's okay to be angry and upset, but only you can take responsibility for your actions. To help support Liz, you can visit her website, ichoosebooks.com, 
and check out her on Instagram at Elizabeth Estrada Books. These links will be available in the description box below, as well as a link to Amazon where you can purchase your own copy of this book. If you have a story you'd like me to read on this channel, please send me an email, contact at readingpioneers.com, so we can turn it into the next video. Also, it would really help this channel if you like the video and subscribe to stay updated with future read-alouds. Unfortunately, this is it for today's video. While waiting for the next upload, you can check out the playlist on the left of other amazing books for children, and on the right is our most recent video upload. Thanks again, readers, for joining us today, and until next time, I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.